Let's talk about the Colorado Buffaloes. And there ain't a whole lot to talk about with Colorado. Uh, Carl Durrell last year went 4-8. and eight, And the numbers were so bad in this situation. You see that little bit of green right there on your screen. Um, right there, if you can see it. They... They were number 27 in the country in turnover margin, but they were number 110 in PPA margin. So I'm going to assume that that's how they got to four wins. Their postgame win expectancy said that they should have been a three-win team. Uh, They didn't make a lot of sense last year, and they lose a ton, just an absolute metric ton. Uh, On the defensive line, uh, running back, uh, wide receivers, the cornerbacks, I mean, just everything. They had a bunch of guys transfer out. Uh, they brought in uh, Mike Sanford to be the offensive coordinator. Um, like, they, If you didn't include the games that they played against Arizona or FCS teams, their offense only averaged 15.6 points per game. That probably ain't going to cut it. Uh, number 35 in returning production. Uh, experience will be good, I guess, on offense but they were number 120 in PPA per drive on offense. I mean, this team was not great. Uh, The only really good thing that they had was they were number 85 in rushing success rate, but Jarek Broussard transferred out. So, I mean, their leading pass catcher was the tight end Russell with 307 yards receiving. Um, And the leading wide receiver that they had, the actual wide receiver, not a tight end, uh, was Rice, and he transferred out. So, I mean, this isn't exactly promising. Uh, On defense, you know, they fired Tyson Summers last year. Uh, They promote the defense coordinator, Chris Wilson. He was a defensive line coach for Colorado. All they did was promote him up. And he was in the NFL prior to that with the Arizona Cardinals. Linebacker Josh chandler Semedo from West Virginia is the only transfer that's really expected to contribute. Um, They only got three. There's only three of their front seven starters returning for the number 111 uh, yards per rush defense. They lost six of the best players. Last season went from a 3-4 scheme under Tyson Summers to a 4-3 under the D.C. Chris Wilson. Like, this team's going to be young. I, they're, they're projected favorites in zero games. They've got three games that are expected to be within one score. Uh, and most of those, they're actually underdogs by about a touchdown. This, like, what are they doing with that non conference like, I, that non-conference schedule, TCU at Air Force at Minnesota, I mean, this looks like somebody set them up to fail. This is like Georgia Tech all over again. Uh, only Cal has a lower-rated Pac-12 roster. Like, to give you an example of how bad the team was, they gained 13 turnovers last year, they lost only seven, and they still were awful. Like, they were still 4-8. and eight. So... Brutal opening and closing four-game stretches here. I don't know what Carl Durrell's next step is. I don't know what the process is to get better. Uh, It's starting to crumble in year three. You look at this schedule, I've got them 0-12. Now, the numbers would say that they should win about three ballgames, but you got three toss-ups here. The way that everything shakes out, I I got nothing. I I couldn't find a win on the schedule. I think they'll get one somewhere when we least expect it. But, like, this team was really bad. And I don't think that the coaching hires are great. And I don't I don't feel good about this team. I will certainly say that. And, and if you're a Colorado fan, I want you to jump in and tell me. Like, what is there to be excited about? Like, this was a less than inspired hire when it happened. Obviously, it was late in the game when Mel Tucker went to Michigan State. But we see what Michigan State is doing. Colorado, and I understand the desire to be a football power is different at Michigan State as opposed to Colorado. But does Col- like does Colorado just not care at all? Where is the investment from the program? Where where are the expectations from the higher ups? What my question is: What is Carl Durrell doing? Like I understand that you need help from from the higher ups. You need help from your boosters, etc. I mean. What, I don't I don't understand the moves. I really don't have any idea what what the moves are. Um, I mean, it's just mind blowing.
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.